Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I'm doing my planner setup for October and as we head into fall I wanted to do a little setup, share with you stuff I've got going on and share with you planner theme ideas and sticker books and stuff like that. That is what this is all about. I am going to take out September. I know September hasn't finished but fall is here and this was a dashboard printable that I gave away last year and even though I can barely see my word of the year there I can't not use this again. If I remember I will leave a link down below where you can get this but this was last year's. If you got last year's you already have this it's in your inbox somewhere. <laughs> it's in your inbox somewhere. So we have October. This is my fresh divider for October. If you haven't seen how I created this, I'll leave a link here. But I'm going to put in October all the things, all the things that I have going on. I've got a couple of things already. I've got one little word in. We've got new moon on the second. I'm going to put that into my November in my wellness planner as well. And that will be there because I redate, no not November, October I October. I got way too excited. New moon, I'm going to put 17th is the full moon. Come on little sticky. I've got new sticky notes coming because these are losing their stick. These are losing their stick and I need to get some stuff done. All right, the third I need to remember to cancel. Amazon Prime. We have a temporary thing right now so that will need to get cancelled. The third is Joe birthday. The 10th, the December daily digital kits go on sale. Um, yes, I am going to do December daily this year. Digi kits. And I need to remember to get that done. The 11th, I've got the December daily class. That is the 11th. The 14th was Indigenous Peoples Day or Columbus Day, whichever you celebrate. The 15th is One Little Word Mid Month. The 17th I've already got in. The 26th will be Tim's birthday. And then 30th will be flea and tick. Yeah, like these are just dead. Okay, that is all of my things happening so far. All of my things happening so far. Now let's look at setting up what I'm going to decorate with. Ooh, fun. So already I know this is done. This is done, so we don't have to do anything with that. So what I might do is because I've got the Halloween book, I might do Halloween in here. I'm going to do Halloween in here, a Halloween sticker book. I'm probably going to change these. I have done it this month. Um, I just put a little bit of sticker paper on there. Halloween book. I just love that book. It's so cute. It's so cute. And then here, I might do the mega holiday. And I could just change those around. I might see which matches this better. Not sure, we'll see. All right. Um, and then for the first week, for the first week, for the first week, shall we use, it's Mad Hatter's Day on the 6th. So I'm going to use Alice in Wonderland. And I'm going to use Alice in Wonderland. Yes. Not sure. What I do need to use is some of the grabby stuff. I'm going to use grabby. Maybe with printables. With grabby stickers there. Because I'm not sure. We'll see. 
And then for here, mm, not sure. I'm kind of drawing a blank. That's not even a sticker. It's not even a post-it. Let's just put these in. Let's put the ones that we know for now. I know this is the 27th is Black Cat Day. Now, spoiler, I've got printables coming. I'm currently working on them in Procreate. I'm hoping that they will be done, but that will be that. And then October, I've got the Halloween book. I'll probably use that there too. The other thing I'm thinking is I want to use Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, there's too many things. Let's use Nightmare Before Christmas in here on Halloween week. Nightmare Before Christmas. We're going to work backwards. The other one that I wanted to use was the Wrong Wrong accessory book. I've got some small, um, is that the accessory book? Yeah, I think it's accessory book. One of the accessory books because I made a note. I'm going to use the regular seasonal happy planner. That's the other one that I could use that week. Sorry, I'm thinking, hang on, October, I've got two. That one might be the mega, no, where was it? The one that I put in and then didn't put anything on it. There. Mega. Seasonal. Mega holiday, mega seasonal, yes. Black Cat Day. And then we'll do the Halloween book here. I might do Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. I might blend the two. Dia de los. Yes. All right, back to here. And we've got the first week. I'm going to do the Planner Stash Challenge of hexagons oops, and octagons. That will be in there. This week, it is the 10th is Mental Health Day. And I think in the mega holiday, there are stickers for that. So that we'll try and get those stickers used Wrong, wrong. No, what does that say? The regular seasonal. Regular seasonal, like the regular, the regular seasonal. Wrong, wrong accessory book, nightmare book. Yes. And then I need to put in, I need to put in October. I need to put in October, which is these. And we're going to use, I'm running out of stickies here. Okay, the first week, which is 30th to the 6th, I'm going to use my printables and it's uh, spiders. I did it on a monthly last year. We'll see how it works on that. Then it's rainforest week, the 7th to the 13th. I might take a bit of a break from Halloween and do rainforest with Dollar Tree or decals. If I can figure out a spooky forest, oh, see, now that I've thought about that, spooky rainforest, spooky rainforest. All right, and then we've got Sloth Day on the 19th. This is the 14th to the 20th. 19th is Sloth. I'm gonna put printable, question mark. I might do Sloths again. I love those stickers. I love those. If you haven't seen them, they're in my Etsy store. Sloths. Um, this is the 21st to the 27th. I might do Mickey and Minnie seasonal because there's Halloween stuff in there. If there isn't and I'm mistaken, we will do something else Halloween-y. Uh, I'm going to try it. There we go. Um, oh, the other thing that I need to use is that. Sorry, I've just thought. I might put that on here. I've got a small Halloween book. From Michael's last year. And I would like to use that up. It would work well, probably in my wellness. 
if I can figure out another configuration. Uh, and then for the 28th to the 3rd, I'm going to use the Mega Holiday. I think it's the Mega Holiday that has Dia de los Muertos in it. Okay, we need to put that Halloween one somewhere. I'm going to put that there just in case I want to do that, just in case I want to do that. All right, that is that done, set up for that. Now I need my faith planner for October. Oh, look at that, that is, oh yes, for October. And I've mentioned this before, I just use an out of date horizontal and I just decorate, have fun. I put in the card, that I draw each day. And again, even though I'm using it for tarot, it is just the horizontal repurposed. You do whatever works for you. And I've got my sheets from the ritual planner that I need to put in. So we've got the new moon, which will go in there. So one, two, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-three. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna take that page and put that one there. Take those out possibly use those for something else. Okay, and then for this, what I think I'm going to use are the grabby stickers. The grabby Halloween box. And if you didn't see that unboxing, I will link that here, but yes, I love that box. I love the stickers in it. So, so cute. So, so cute. If I don't use that, I'll probably use one of the celestial things. Yes. All right, that is it. All right, I also just want to say that if you haven't already checked out the Planner Stash Challenge, then this is your time to check those out. The themes for October are spooky seasonal stickers. Get all your Halloween stuff out of the sticker books and onto the pages. Use your hexagons or your octagons. Use orange and black. You can balance that with some other colors if you want to. And the other one, the other challenge for your technique is to use the bleed around the edge of the stickers. So if you haven't seen that, that is what is left over after you've taken the sticker out. That is the bleed. <laughs> it's also called the offset, but yeah, use your bleed because it's Halloween. Okay, that is my planners set up for October. I have my themes, I have all of the dates and appointments that I need so far, and I can add more as I go, but I am prepped for October. And I do this just to make sure that I have all my bases covered, and it helps take out my decision fatigue of what sticker books I'm going to decorate with and stuff like that, so yes. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.